so let's take a look at this read well by Hagen. Uh, I thought I would show you how to use, or how I have used the read well uh, in my weekly read preparation. Now I'm kind of a princess in a pea when it comes to saxophone reads, particularly classical reads. I'm very sensitive to them. So I kind of go through a, a routine each week. I have my reads here, and as you can see, I keep them numbered. Here's one through four, five through eight, and I have a I have a old read case here that goes all the way up to 12. Uh, <clears throat> and how I do my reads is I go from probably soft, uh, my, my first tray is generally soft or harder, but they're playable reads. These are reads I'm breaking in, and then these are ones that are just early in the process of breaking in. So it's always a movement forward to playability. Now, I live in Nebraska, and especially in the fall and the winter, the weather can change in a matter of, sometimes it feels like seconds. But we can go from hot, and in fact, just to let you know as I'm filming this, today it's supposed to be 80, yesterday it didn't get higher than 60. So it's what we have to deal with if we're um, a read, a single read player. So anyhow, the read well has got these numbered bevels, and I fill it with kind of a combination of water. Now this is a little cloudy because I've been using it. Water and Listerine just because, especially in these days of COVID, I want to keep things clean. Well, the inside, if you can see here, has got, uh, let me use a pencil, you can hear it these bevels. And these bevels are numbered and I'm able to soak the reed. And you can kind of see here, as I put the reed onto the plate, it adheres to the flat bevel while drawing water up into the reed. <clears throat> so each week, sometimes each day, I kind of test my reeds out. So what I do is we'll just start with four here. Now, what I like about this, as opposed to a typical cup, is sometimes I will mark my, my reads with a soft pencil or maybe a pen. The problem is, like I said, reads are going to change from day to day, week to week, and therefore something that might be a one one day might be a four the next day or might be in the trash. Just never know. So what I do is I go from, so technically right now, is I go from soft to hard. So what I can do is I can go through the process of trying my reads and testing to see how they play. So I try my number one read. Okay, so I get an idea of how that plays in various registers. Now, I can take the read and turn it upside down like this, still so keeping the reeds soaked. And if I get an uh, interrupting phone call or something like that, or somebody needs me for something, and I'm away for a few minutes, and I come back and I go, well, which reed did I do? I can tell because the reeds that haven't been played are down, and the reed that has been played is up. <clears throat> so here's my number two. <laughs> harder than my number one read. So, so far, we're doing fine. <clears throat> well, let's, let's just give a hypothetical here. Let's take our number three read, and let's say, now I'm going to tell you this one should be harder because I just did my reads already this morning. <laughs> This one is now playing a little bit easier than number two. So all I have to do is take number two, slide it over into three, and then go for there. Okay, well, since we've gone this far, we might as well see how number four is doing. Now, this is very helpful if these are how your reads play in your office, but you're going to play in a concert hall. You can take this with you and have somebody help you test out your reads. <laughs> Okay, so 
that's roughly the way I want my reeds to go. So all I have to do is take my reeds out, dry them, and I get to put them in the order that I had them. Now, I can go through, and if I so choose to, I can number them just to make sure. You know, sometimes I can remember, uh, that way they don't, uh, they don't get lost outside the container. Um, I like this because um, it's made out of glass, therefore it's not going to leach any uh, PBA for some of the reed cups. It's strong, it's heavy, it's well printed. Um, the numbers are not coming off. I like the fact it comes with this cap. So if I bump my table, if, let's say if I bump it really hard, I'm not going to be spilling solution all over my all over my my desk. And it comes with this neat little um, sponge. So what I okay. So let me show you how I would use this with the sponge. Now I've wet the sponge, as you can see, just pulling it out of the container is taking all that. I can put the sponge in the container, and you can see that it's it's dry. Okay, nothing is coming out. Well, a little bit of liquid's coming out, but that's because I poured it. Um, let's say I'm in the in the middle of a performance and I want my reeds to be in the order of which I played them. Okay? So I can do that. Now one thing you want to be aware of is when you put this in here, um, technically you could put the reed below the sponge like I'm doing right now. That just kind of helps puts it into place. Okay? Uh, because once you put the sponge in, it will take up some surface area probably a little more than an inch. But what I can do is because that reed is wet and I put the top on it, these reeds are now humidified and are wet without being soaked in the solution. Okay, so I can take these anywhere. I can even shake it and you can see that the reeds are still in there. Okay, now let me show you again. So let's say I'm playing and I get to the second movement, and I can feel during the second movement of my of my sonata, yeah, it's time to change before that third movement. I'm not going to be able to hit those altissimos because the reeds are 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 is my reed is going out. So it's real simple. Open it up, grab your number three, put it on. It's already wet. It's already humidified, but it's not waterlogged. That's a pretty cool idea. You know. It is glass, so you want to be careful. You don't want it falling off of a Steinway piano or anything like that. But something that I've kind of thought was silly for a number of years has really made my reed work so much easier. So you know what? I recommend it. Check out the Reedwell by, by Hagen. It's a pretty neat product. Mm -hmm.